Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Our topic today is entitled The Ethics of Virtue. The hallmark of the purification of the lower self or nafs is the freedom that the heart will enjoy from all material and abstract created things, as well as the heart's indescribable, ever increasing joy in nearness to the divine. In loving surrender to the divine is freedom from the vagaries of the slavery to all besides. And in loving surrender to the divine is lasting, permanent happiness beyond the temporary or the transient. Proximity to the divine produces innate change that reflects in word and deeds. Indeed, the most essential fruit of true spirituality is transformation in my internal character or khuluq. Without such change, my spiritual transformation is simply a claim, devoid of substance. The Messenger وسلم, stated, I was only sent to perfect the most beautiful standards of character. Other texts emphasize that nothing is heavier on the scale of good deeds than virtuous character. Indeed, virtuous character is so seminal in Islam that a well-known spiritual wisdom affirms all of spirituality is virtuous character. And the one that surpasses you in virtuous character surpasses you in spirituality. What is character? Character or khuluq is the internal image or the attributes of my heart. That is what I look like within. My interior form, my inner appearance, whether beautiful or ugly. As the lower self is purified and as the heart journeys in nearness to the divine, it begins to value and embody the virtuous qualities beloved to the divine and it begins to reflect those virtues in creation. The beauty of the vertical relationship with the divine and Allah is exalted above all analogy, this vertical relationship quote unquote, is now reflected in the horizontal relationship between creation and that happens through the values of loving mercy, justice, equity, kindness, forgiveness, generosity, patience, wisdom, sacrifice, devotion, service and many others. These values are Islamic universals they form the bedrock of our faith and they're meant to apply in all times and in all circumstances whether personal or political solitary or social in geniality or in grumpiness in poverty or in plenty spirituality is meant to produce inner traits or character traits that have reached a steady state of permanent expression and this requires work and effort. Through the discipline and purification of the lower self, virtuous character slowly becomes our natural disposition. Its expression and actualization become less difficult and deficient and become more perfected and pleasurable. We are meant to be sincere and truthful in the expression of our values. There should be no dichotomy between our private and our public lives. What good is an activist that promotes global welfare and equity, but renders injustice to his or her parents, spouse or children? What good is an activist that promotes values in public but is the last to practice them in private? What good is an activist 
that encourages sacrifice and humility, but is burning a flame with a desire to seek name and fame. The quest for virtuous character in whatever we do is a public activism in and of itself. Our hypocrisies and the dissonance between our values on the one hand and our words and deeds on the other will not enjoy the pleasure and solicitude of the divine and all such efforts will be surely and certainly barren, arid and impoverished. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.